Hey guys, the chicken is here, back today in another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, uh, I got about halfway through the last one I recorded, and then uh, I didn't realize I was low on disk space on the computer, so. Salvage that, we're starting over again if it's a little bit rough. Um, here we are, uh, still hanging out around 22, 21. Uh, we did just, just unlock the troop damage after seven engines, so we'll talk about the tech tree next. First, I wanna show you guys this base. It is solid if you're looking for a base at 70 hours. Um, the bases at seven engines, they're more or less all kind of the same. Um, you'll find, you know, some small tweaks here and there, but it's essentially forces you to run all the way up the deck, um, is the idea. So I'm doing a couple things to try and stop seekers, namely, uh, this shock launcher in the back with the double sky shield makes it, you know, a little bit more annoying at least to, um, to get the seekers in back there. Otherwise it's pretty standard, um, you know, runway for the, for the bombardiers to, uh, waste a lot of time on. All right, next let's go over the tech tree. We actually have some new attacks to go over too, so I want to get into that sooner and later. Um, but yeah, so here's where I'm at on the on the tech. Like I said, we got the troop damage. Now, what we want to do next is we do want the DVD. We, we want to get that DVD, and then we want to go back and start picking up some other stuff. I might grab that other Doom Cannon before. Um, it's either going to be the Doom Cannon or Dr. Kavon, because Kavon is better than Bullet. Um, at the very end, I'm trying to use heavy chopper rush kind of strategies for um, the most part. I'll show you that in a second, but Kavan is definitely stronger right now, so um, that's what we want to be looking towards. And I think before Kavan, after DVD, what we want to do is grab our shock mines. That's again really going to help us against the seekers. Um, and then from there, we also are going to need the sniper towers at some point. Um, you know, it's just we have more important things that are going to add more value until. Um, until we get there. So let's go over the attack strategy. I'll show you a one where we're pulling it off and winning. Uh, that is a six. That is a six. So let's not go over that because it's going to be too, you know, I have the extra GBE, so maybe it's, you know, not the same thing as easy to copy. Um, but da -da 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 -da, let's see what we got here. Nope, that's Doodlers. That's the same Doodler hit. Uh, Tomahawk? Greybeard? Let's see. Yeah, okay. So here's how we're running it, guys. Basically, six heavy choppers with taunt. Um, I do have max bullet smoke, extra, a little bit extra GB, not 150, but 100. Um, so here's how I like to do it. Clear a little bit off the front, shock the doom cannon, and then you're kind of playing ping pong back and forth with those four engine rooms. You go down on one side, up on the other side, up on the other side, or whatever. Um, just the shortest pass, path of distance. Think about it like your water or your, or your electricity. You're just going to take that path of least resistance to the next engine room. Um, and then as we're doing that, whoa, freeze frame. We got two boats of Seekers coming in hot, way up on this side. Two boats is a good amount. If you shock the splash, um, you can let a couple boom cannons and maybe even a machine gun uh, shoot at them and they're not gonna have any problems taking down that engine. Um, yeah, so that's the idea. It takes a lot to really perfect it and get it to work, but it's also a lot of fun. Like I'm really enjoying this attack strategy, so. Um, Let's get into some battles here and see if we can get ourselves at least back to 22. This guy's got a microwave. This is super anti-seeker here, so I don't know if that is going to work. I also don't know um, if we want to do Heavy Chopper Rush here, because I think that's going to kind of fall apart in our face as well. Does he have shock mines? <sighs> Does not have shock mines. All right, let's go for the Chopper Rush. I'm not scared of your microwaver. Maybe I will be after this, but for right now, I think we're okay. Um, all right, let's grind up a little bit of GBE. Um, I am going to shock this because it's just shooting directly at our choppers. So we're going to go uh, engine room, shock launcher, engine room, engine room, engine room, shock launcher, engine room, flare back in there, and pray. <laughs> That's the plan. We'll see if it works. I don't know. I've been having some success doing just kind of random things, so... And let's go up like that, and then over here. We do have smokes as well, of course, so that's going to help us out too. Um, on the old chopper, rushy rush. And we're not delaying any seekers, so we can just let them fly. Look at that just beautiful wave of heavies coming in. With all that troop damage, just burn it to the ground, guys. Alright, there we go here. They're going to shock the launcher as we make our way over. If we can get there, yes, sir. 
I think smoke should have a cooling effect on the troops that are on fire. I mean, it only makes sense, right? Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just the chicken. Yeah, the problem is now that we're running out of heavies, and we really got to make up some ground here. I should be taunting, but I want to save my taunts to the very end too, because um, we're going to need that. We got a lot to fight through at the very end, so we got to keep all of our heavies alive, and this flare's got to be pretty bang on. Move, move, move. Um, I want to shock you. And there we go. Alright, get in there, heavies. Do your worst. Do your stuff. Okay, there we go. Shock the hot pot and the flamethrower. And I don't know. We're kind of praying at this point. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. I don't know how much damage the microwaver is going to do. Opponents are treated. Okay. That's, that's what we want to see. Um... For what it's worth, throwing critters against the microwaver, not usually a good idea. Uh, we can't taunt it though. I'm not sure how taunting the microwaver works, if it actually does anything or not. Because typically it locks it, but I mean, the only way it can shoot is by doing splash damage that's large enough to hit the other troops, so... I don't know. It's a weird one. 125. Not too bad. Not too bad. That wasn't an amazing heavy chopper rush base, but uh... Yeah, <clears throat> it's definitely doable, if nothing else. All right, let's get two more. Let's get two more dubs in here, guys. Let's get two more dubs. Get back up to 22. Um, this guy's got a grappler. Interesting. Okay, okay. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. I'm trying to make this work. You guys know the chicken. I love me some heavy chopper rush. If we can find a way to make it work, we'll, we'll make it work. I mean, if you're not doing this, we can still do the same attack as yesterday, and it's going to be a little bit faster with the uh, with the heavy choppers and bombers, but we'll see. We'll see. Taunt right there. Looks like Bullet got shocked. There you go, Bully. Okay, again, around the world, we're playing some ping pong. Uh, we're going here next. Throw a couple smokes down, because we should be using smokes. Um, okay, that's looking good. Another smoke, looking all right. We throw the critters there just to keep that grappler off us, just in case. And smoke, smoke. Alright, let's see. Now, a good trick, guys, when you get into a situation like this, if you are chopper rushing, always reflare. Just gonna recollect. Look how quickly that engine's gonna go down now. That's what we wanted. And from here, oops, I missed tap there. I wanted to hit the flamethrower, not the boom cannon, but it will make it work, I think. We're gonna have to take down, the problem with the grappler is it's gonna, it's gonna have so much health. Um, it's gonna be really tricky for us. To, well, it's just gonna take longer to get through there. Okay, come on, come on, come on. And not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby on the old bus rush. 145 is around the time that we want to be at. I think we lost that one, but uh, that's kind of where we want to be. Let's see. Did we get the dub or did we get the flub, Mr. McLovin? Don't do it to us. Don't do it. Yes, sir. Let's go. Bus rush, baby. All right, let's get to 22. Let's get back to 22. We can do it. I'll tell you what, if we win this one, we'll keep it going. We'll even keep it going. Woo, all right. <clears throat> if we can get the bus rush to work, we'll be laughing. Oh, six here, okay. Um, this should actually be pretty easy. I think most guys seek these bases. 
I don't want to try anything new new because I want to uh, make sure that we get this one. Um, we can probably go shock knuckles, I think. Shock there. There we go. Um, so shock launcher hitting us from somewhere. There we go. Now we, what we can do with these rockets is just when they're wide open like that, it's just two two things of critters, that's it. We don't have to deal with it shooting us in the back the whole time. I mean, if we can add some bombardier splashes in there, that's gonna help too. Come on, bully. You got a shock knuckle that you did not use. You owe me one before you die. That's the problem with shock knuckles is, yeah, you'll get the value of the shocks, but um, he also dies really easily without it. It's amazing how much that stupid uh, uh, you know the taunt damage limit perk actually uh, actually helps. All right, come on, guys, come on, bring it home. Um. Go. This is where taunt is more helpful, but whatever. We have so many troops in front of them. Probably looking at like a, a 136 finish here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Thankfully, there's no defenses left, so I mean, there's not really much for us to do. We just got to get there. I'm not even going to bother smoking, but I will throw some critters down there. What did I say? 136? Guys, come on. You gotta give it to me on that one. You gotta give it to me on that one. Can you tell I've played this stupid game before? Oh no, he beat us. Oh no, he didn't. He's got two left. Yes! Alright, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. What do we had? 12-ish minutes? <coughs> Guys, leave a like in the video for the chicken predicting that time. That that was pretty cool. That was. I, I feel like we were far enough away that that was interesting. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. All right, he's going in hard here. He is going in hard. Can he do it though? Can he do it? I'm not sure. Yeah, he can. All right. That brings us to. Oh, we still didn't get 22. <laughs> Oh my god. We still didn't get 22, guys, so we gotta do one more. The season of not being able to get out of 21. Um. Uh, I think we gotta go doodlers here, guys. Sad to say it. But at least we'll be able to take a look at what they're like with the troop damage too. Even though I just use them on that six, but Oh no, I've got shock knuckles. Shoot, I forgot to change it. Oh, uh, that's gonna hurt us. Well, we might as well use it before he dies, get some value out of it. If he would wake up. Use it, Billy, use it. That's why you're there, buddy. He took some mines out of the picture. Clearing any mines is, is a nice benefit at this point. Um, you know, that's something we're definitely missing. Obviously, we can do it with critters, but, you know, when you only have one thing, they get really expensive really quickly. Uh, especially with critters, they don't start out cheap, like artillery or something like that. Um, so, yeah, definitely something that we're missing. 
But we'll get it at some point, and uh, you know, it'll help from there. Okay, okay, okay. Mortars are funny because you can't actually see what direction they're aiming at. Um, I'm going to go easy on the shock knuckles. And I don't really want to pour all my GB into that guy to protect him because I don't think that's going to be that really worth doing. But I mean, if he can get a couple... <laughs> a one volley kill them. Um, Alright. <clears throat> I'll leave that shock launcher up. I'm okay with that. Get away from me. Put a nice line of uh, critters in the front. This is not going to be a good time. This is not going to be a good time. Come on, my doodlers. Come on, are we destined to stay in 21 forever or what? Go, 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 go. He's got one engine left. Two is going to win. Come on. Blow it down. 121. 121 is possible to win. It's not a horrendous time, but I don't like how quickly the engines went down there at the very end for him. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 112. Okay, not bad. Now, I said if we won, we'd keep going, so I just deleted a bunch of videos off my uh, computer, so we should be um, we should be rocking and rolling here in terms of time. All right, let's go. Now we're making now we're making some moves. Now we're making some moves. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys like the longer, just kind of freestyle videos like this without an actual plan or anything. Um, I don't see this one being able to be seeked, so let's just go with what we know. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't change to, to taunt again. Oh my god. Well, I mean, technically it worked last time. I don't think it makes a huge difference, but I mean, ideally I would prefer to be using taunt for sure. Um, also, all that GB at the very end last time... Didn't really help us out. I mean, I threw down like two things of critters for like 50 GB combined, so I don't think that was really worthwhile. Um, all right, so we just gotta watch the. We gotta watch that, we gotta watch this, and then we gotta watch the one on the left. <laughs> a lot of things to shock here, a lot of things to shock right into the gates. Okay, now it's time for the Doom Cannon to get another round. Doom Cannon's actually okay, as long as it's hitting bullet. Uh, even though we don't have taunt, that's what we want. Because I didn't check if we had the extra G DVD, but uh, those things pack a punch. I believe they one-shot heavy choppers, so... Something to be very, very, very mindful of. Yeah, critters, you're a little bit too late. At least they got that one. I don't know why I healed up the one that was just about to walk into the boom mine, but here we are. Um, I don't know if I want to... Uh, I don't know if I want to rush this or not. I don't know if it's really going to help us. I think we've got to clear kind of all this stuff at the same time. I mean, we're looking okay in terms of time. Probably right around that 120 mark again. Now we can't, because none of that stuff will be in range. Come on, shoot a little bit faster. Uh, there we go. Med pack for days. Don't turn around and shoot a backwards bullet, please. Sometimes uh, when you get a weird shock knuckles like that, because uh, I flared it at the building in front of him, and then I killed that building, so I was worried that he was going to just turn around and hit the one behind him, 
and then fired all my bombers. So it looks like that one was a loss, guys, unfortunately, but uh, that was a fun little push. I don't think 23 is there. I think it's just, you know, we need a little bit more. But troop damage is definitely good, obviously. Um, so, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little bit of a longer one tonight, uh, or this morning, but yeah. I think we still stayed in 22 there, so. We're, we're holding our own. I don't know where we're at on the Canada leader back. Uh, that puts us at number 15, so I mean, we're holding our own here, so um, yeah. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you next one. Check it out. Back, back.